Hi, this is Kimball Bullington, and this is a video uh, creating a bar chart from some data that's uh, structured a little bit differently. We have some merged cells and um, uh, separated data that ends up making it a little bit more difficult to chart. So I want to give you an example of how to chart it. We'd like the instructions in the assignment I'm using here as an example. Um, uh, has an example of what the output could look like. It doesn't. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like this, uh, but it does need to convey this data and should be uh, labeled appropriately. So we're just going to uh, copy this and um, and use uh, use this as an example or model for what our data should look like. And we'll just bring it right along here. So our we have this um, Redstone Foods m and sales forecasting tool. And we're going to use this data, this MAPE data, that comes from this forecast to accuracy data down here at the bottom of our chart. Now, if we normally, I would just highlight the data and, um, and then hit insert chart and then start to create. But when I highlight this data, you see it jumps out here. And uh, it's because of the formatted cells and, and uh, merged cells. And so um, if we chart this, it gets messy. So what we're going to do is just go down here into a blank space in our spreadsheet and we're going to insert a blank sheet down here. So blank uh, chart I should say. We're going to use a, a bar chart and we want a, a, a clustered column. We don't want stacked bars. We're not adding any of this data together. It wouldn't really make sense. So we're, we're using this clustered column and when we first do this, since we have no data, it just shows up as a blank uh, rectangle here. So we right click and select data. In our data range, uh, we're looking at MAP, and MAP is sort of segregated like this. So we're going to add in all this data. So we, so we highlight that row there, or the portion of the row. We, we hit a comma, and then highlight the next one, another comma highlight the next comma and finally highlight the fourth one and we say okay and voila we have a chart but it's not the same chart even though colors just happen to to show up uh, uh, the same color scheme it's not the same chart here we have one two three four five series here we have four and we have five bars in each one of our series, and over here we only have four. So it looks like our data is transposed. So we're going to uh, click on the chart again, right click, select data, and we're going to switch the rows and columns. And when we do, we come up with a chart that's getting closer to what we'd like to look at. So if you look at the shape of the chart, it's the same shape. You notice we have four series, we have five bars in each series. This is the same chart. It doesn't look quite the same yet. Now you can you can uh, you can edit colors. Uh, you could go up here and just change colors. You know, want to, uh, or maybe that's a good enough color there. I mean, we change the next one. You know, however you want to um, make that and and so on. Well, let's change. It. I can change the fill individually on these um, and um, to whatever color I want and then change um, so this one was gray um, and make it a gray of some kind and so on. So I can I can start to change these colors as as I wish and if I don't like the particular colors that I come up with ask for more colors and start to change the colors and so on I won't change uh, all of them there um, so I can change colors but more importantly how do I come up with these these labels instead of one two three four I want these labels uh, the, the 20 year to date, first uh, quarter, which are found here. So again, I'm going to go back to select data and um, uh, one, two, three, four. I want to edit these. And I, when I edit, 
uh, says um, access label range. I'd like to have that as label. But then when I try to do uh, add the next one in, so I, I highlight this one, add it, uh, and uh, um, here I want this range, and it changed my first one. So how do I how do I make it to where it won't do that? And uh, what I'm going to try here is I'm going to try identifying each one of these separately and and uh, putting uh, separating them with a comma. And did that work? Yes, that did. So now I have all of those uh, like that I like them. And now I need to go over here and edit these. And um, these numbers are across the top here. And so uh, on these, I'm going to hit Edit and Model 1. OK, go back here and hit Edit for the second series, hit Model 2, OK, and, and so on. Um, I'll just tell you, I'm not sure why you, you do it um, one way for, one of the, for the x-axis and the other way for the, um, or for the series and other for the data. I really don't know. Um, Oops, it should have been uh, model four, and then finally model five. I have to hit edit each time. And now, um, okay, so I have um, those, but now I'm not seeing my uh, labels here. I wanted to add some labels. So I want, want my legend to show up. And I want it to show up at the bottom. And then I also want uh, access titles. And um, once I get access titles, I just highlight them. This one is MAPE. Uh, this one is uh, time period. Oops. There we go and edit my chart title, highlight all that and edit it, which is forecast accuracy dash make. And now I have a chart that looks a lot like this one. I could play with uh, the um, fonts a little bit if I wanted to. Um, you know, here I've got accuracy on each one of these. Probably don't need that. And I can get rid of that by just going back up here and actually deleting the accuracy out of out of these. And um, when I do that, it will delete them from those labels as well. And so I have a chart very similar. I could change fonts and so on. I could change colors. Um, but I've created a, uh, a chart that looks like my target chart. So uh, that's a bar chart from uh, sort of unusually structured data. Thanks.